Hello everybody, my name is Fireman and uh, welcome to a map, uh, well a map tour we're going to be doing. This is part, is it Park Farm did you say? Park House. Park House. Um, so we are joined by Will, who is the creator of this map. And yeah, so say hello. hello. So he's going to kind of be, uh, he's not in multiplayer with us, but he's kind of just going to be saying things in the background. Um, so it is absolutely tiny this map if I just scroll up you can actually see how small it is um, which is good because you don't get any maps that are small anymore you just get massive American maps and they're all crap so it's actually nice to kind of see a couple of Br little small British ones coming out now and then um, so how long did it take to make them Will? probably about three weeks the what? actual build and then just testing now so this was this one wasn't in the contest, no. No, it was my other one that was in the contest. Oh, oh fam. But this was actually this map was made for a mate who wanted a small map because he was sick of playing big maps, like you said. Yeah. So there's lots of detail. I'm just jumping around. There's a bulldozer half sunk in the floor. I'm assuming that's supposed to just be like bodywork showing. Yeah. It's nice, there's a silo and some tyres and bits of kit lying about here. Uh, oh, I'm inside the ring feeder. Nice old buildings. I'm assuming, are these the ones off Kendall? Well, yeah, Kendall and um, mm. Sandy Bay they were from originally. Alright, so he's got, you know, this is what I'm going to have to add to my maps, which hasn't, which I haven't got, Is just, you know, little bits of detail like this as you can see there's just a dumping yard at the back here which is what every farm has because you all need a dumping yard a um, couple of calf uh, well calf couple of calf pens there um, up down upside down skip <laughs> just is uh, so this is the chickens is it the chickens and the cows at the main farm yeah the chickens and the cows yeah and then, so if we, oh, hedges have got collisions. The eggs spawn on a bale in the corner of the fight pot, yeah, I think. Alright. So, to start with, you get a Euroboss pot into your self-loading wagon. You get the smallest combine, which is the Sampo. Uh, a T5 without loader, and a New Holland 8340 without loader. That's just in the main shed. In the actual yard itself which is between these two buildings which is very nice it is it is a nice small map to start with um, you get a skid steer and a couple of attachments you get the trailer in the other shed in this little rusty shed here which is quite nice quite nice little rusty thing that is um, cultivator and cedar and that is here so where did you say the bet oh yes they do is it eggs on the bale in the corner? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. That's pretty good. So if we... We'll tab to... What's in here? No, no, no. Nah. There we go. So we're at the shop now. This is this is just a mod. We'll talk about that later. So at the shop. So the shop has everything. So it has the bell cell point. The wood cell point. These lovely, like, rusty top sheds looking things here. And... Uh, Egg cell point, vehicle cell point, and vehicle buy point, flags, and a couple other things. Now, has this one got mud on it? No? Yeah, it does have. The version you've got hasn't got mud on, but oh, right. the version that will be released has mud on. Right, I got you. Uh, so there's the wool cell point here as well. So the shop is the cell point for all the other stuff like bales and wood and uh, your wool. Now, there are one or two little things. Um, like the gates open some like, some gates open the wrong way, but me, that's that's well. This well, there's mud here. Oh, that, you maybe do have mud on that one. Can't um, remember. so at the edge of this field here is a couple more bits of well, just lying around bits of crap and containers and bulldozers, and then you get your mower, this little side mower, your little tether, and the rake. Um. It is very nice how you've done this and put it at the edge of the field. You don't often see it done like this on 
maps. Some people just leave all the sheds at one end of the field at the at the actual yard and don't bother putting any sheds at fields because there's quite a few fields I drive past and they have sheds at the end of them. And, yeah, uh, give it a bit more realistic, yes. Which I might add to a few of my maps, which probably be Bally Craig. I'll do that on. Uh, so let's have a look at the mud. Take the eight three forty. Why not? So here is the slurry point, I assume. Yes. Oh. Why is there a bulldozer at the bottom of the slurry pit? Bad driver. Bad driver. Oh. So you were driving it then, were you, Will? Yeah. <laughs> bit, bit drunk one night. Got just back from pub. Just hit a hedge. Right, so here we have the... Now this is a nice way you've done this. So if you come up the yard, come out of the yard, sorry, and up the road a bit towards the towards field eight and ten, the this is where your fertilizer and seed points are. So the, you muck, the muck also spawns there at the, the edge of the trees. Oh, does it? Oh, in this corner piece yeah. here. So you don't often. You, to be honest, I've never seen it done like this on a British map, and it actually is nice. <laughs> it actually is. You know, you don't see it like this. I mean, a lot of people do try and cram things into yards, and then it becomes, then it becomes unuser friendly. So, it is a pain. But uh, so that's the way he's done it. For, for well, I'm assuming it's personal. Yeah, preference. it's it's, a, it's just uh, any map. It's not off a real place, so it can be however. I want yeah. it, so I just start put them there. I had to put them somewhere. So. So there's a little sugar beet field here. Um, we leave the 8340 there for a minute. So we've got a little shed next to oh, the hedges. The hedges are too tall for me to jump over, so I have to use the road. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of a like brook thing. Have, have these little stream things got fil refill triggers on them? Yeah, too? they do. So you can refill your water there. Oh, you missed out on a good little piece here. You could have lowered this road and then made it so the stream went over the road. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh well, that's per that's how I'd have done it, but personal preference, like I say. So there's a little, nice little cobble, cobble built shed here at the end of this field, which is, you know, nice. You do see that around in places. Uh, there is uh, another, I'm assuming this is just a storage yard at the top of this hill. Where's sheep? What? The sheep field. You walk into oh, the sheep field. Oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I didn't see that. So the little sheep field. Oh, that's clever. Hey, that's pretty good. I like the way you've done that. So the feed points are at the top of the hill, and then they, they can go down the hill. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, and then at the edge of the map, of course, these are very, very small fields for very small kit. Um, so you could cut all these. I reckon you could cut most of these in two or three passes if you use butterflies, but, you know, then it just takes the fun out of it, and it's not you're not using the map for what it was built for, which is... Small kit because it's a small British map. Now, there isn't, there isn't even that much mud on here. Nah, because I did have some people disagreed with the amount of mud on my last map, so I thought I'd tone it down a bit. Ah, but see, I I want to script in the mud onto one of my maps because I've got a few places it can go. But you know, I like the mud. Just I like it so that you have, if you're gonna put it somewhere, you know you can actually still get through it because I've actually put it in maps before and made it so I can't even get through it does the mud work as mud let's just open this gate yeah it does work there we go right so let's go this way because we haven't actually gone out this way it, to get to the bottom of the next to the stream of field ten doesn't work, so you can't get through that one. It works on the updated version now. Right. I like this little track you've done here to the field also, to field six. You might also want to go down behind the auction mat. You have to go around through the fields, down through field twelve. Through there to the little to the yard back there, and you can't get from any other way, so you might want to go that what, way. What? So through field 12, is it? 
through field 12 and there's a gate in the bottom corner and then you if you look on the map there's a mud square behind the concrete yeah well, so we'll have a look at that then. so into field 12 which is here uh, there's a little well, there's a little shed there across the uh, across the way, across the little river thing. That's nice. And then it sort of ends in the trees. So then you come to the edge of here. You have to go round onto a bit of a dirt track. Oh, you don't see that as neither. You don't see hidden yards anymore. That's nice. That's pretty good. I'll give you that one. It's a nice little touch. That is. It actually adds a feature to the map that's worth coming over this end of the map because normally you'd just stay in the main yard wouldn't you, you wouldn't really come over yeah. here um, that's deep so we've got the cell point which is the pub which is the Royal Oak um, nice little pub so there's the cell point here in the ground, it's pretty easy to get to it's just off the main road here um, also we have the farm auction or the cattle market here so let's I'm assuming the triggers right here so let's buy some sheep confirm buy some cows confirm just so we can see how they well, where they can go um, a very very small forestry area as I can see on the right here um, and I mean very small but lots of trees in here so Personally, I don't like forestry, that's why none of my maps have it, because I absolutely hate it, but, you know, another another personal preference, <laughs> again. Um, so, there are lots and lots of little hidden fields, you know, that aren't, that don't look very big, you know, but would be worth mowing. Um, oops, a bit of lag there. Yeah, so... There's quite a few. Well, it only goes up to field 12, doesn't it? There's only 12 fields yeah, on this map. So you've got your silage pit. We're back at the main yard now. So you've got your silage pit and all that. Uh, have we missed anything? I don't think no, we I have. Think so. so that's it. So that is Park. It's Park house. Hall Farm, isn't it? Park uh, house. house. House! There we go. Fucking hell. I'm so bad. Park House Farm. Um, so. Is there any idea of when it's going to be coming out? A couple of weeks when I've sent I'll probably send it off to Giants maybe Monday. So a question that will probably get asked in the comments, is it going to be on console? No. Right. So you heard it here from the origin from the map creator, so everybody in the comments <laughs> that says they want it on console, it's not coming to console. Um what other questions would they be asked? See, personally to me, I would want more mud, personal preference, because I've driven, I've had a little look around and it's only in places, and I would want it, you know, I'd have it in a yard somewhere that, so it was hard to, you know, because sometimes you end up with yards and sometimes they have massive mud ruts and all this stuff, but personal preference. Um... And that's it, because they would be, they'd probably be the only two questions that would probably get asked the most. So, um, so yeah, thank you to Will for joining me. Um, so the map will be out, well, he says it's going to be out a couple of weeks. But, of course, Giants do take an awful long time to do anything. So if, if this video goes out and then it says this video was made a month ago and it still hasn't come out, that's... That's not Will's fault, that's not my fault, that's nobody else's but Giants, because Giants take fucking ages to do anything. So, uh, thank you all for watching, leave a like down below if you enjoyed, add me on Snapchat, add me on Discord, join our Discord, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page, and uh, happy farming and goodbye. Bye.